Yisrael declares, Ato Yodati, Ki Godel Hashem, How great is your name, God. Every day, a Jew faces the day and the challenges that day in a very unique way. And only he could do that particular avoda, that service of Hashem. No one else can replace him. And not only that, what he can do today is not what he could have done yesterday and not what he could do tomorrow. And that's a warning to us, not to lose the opportunity of each day that each day brings. When Klal Yisrael meet Moshe Rabbeinu, they ask him, Mashmo, what is the great name of God? They had already heard that he was Elokei Amoseinu, but what's going to keep us going? And Hashem answers, my name is Eliyah. And the word Eliyah appears three times over and over again. Why? What is the message of God's great name of Eliyah? Eliyah is Milosh and Havaya creating. Man creates himself. That's what tshuva is all about. When I have an opportunity to do tshuva, it means Eliyah. I am a brand new person. I'm facing a new day and new challenges. And why is it three times over? The first time I do tshuva, maybe I have what we call pniot. Maybe I'm not totally sincere. The second time I fix it up, I reach tshuva shlema, and I'm on a level of really l'shem shemaim, totally sincere. But I need a third level of tshuva because as I climb the ladder and I ascend and I reach a higher level, I realize how could I have been on that level and have done that kind of avera? The tshuva is not sufficient. So Eya appears over and over again, three times over. He wrote on me his will that we dedicate ourselves to, to this realization that no matter how far we are, Yisrael reaches the, reaches the lowest level. He worships every idolatry. And yet, he, as recorded immortally in this parsha, says, Atayadati ki Godel Hashem. He's Makadish, God's name. And that's what each and every one of us can do. He rots and we should be zolchen to dedicate ourselves to this dance. Amen. And I wish everyone a Shabbat Shalom. Thank you so much.